Hey, what's up guys? So, this is the third third day that I'm going to be walking to a cafe doing my regular thing, regular routine. And I'm definitely getting the hang of it now, guys. Routine is key to being comfortable in different places for sure. So, I'm just walking, but then like I noticed this this view right here. Right? And and, and I think this is an apartment building right here, but I'm just like, whoa, this is this is that fall season vibe. Since yesterday, the temperature dropped from 60 to like 50. It's cold right now. And this puffer jacket right here, oh man, it's, I love it. I put in a little bit of work on my portfolio and this travel app that I'm doing. My friend called me earlier. You know, he was asking like, hey, where are you? And stuff like that. Let's meet up later for like drink. And I said like, I can't because I'm in North Carolina right now. And then he was like, how does it feel to be the only Filipino in North Carolina? I'm like, I didn't thought about that, you know? Because it was just like, I didn't really... <laughs> I didn't realize it and then I look around and I'm like, huh, I think he's right. <laughs> Cause I I don't see any like Filipinos here. Um, I mean, there are Asian, it's pretty diverse. Probably cause um, where I'm staying right now, it's near a university, Duke University. And of course like, you know, people will come here to like, you know, people will come here from all over, like all over other, states or countries or cities so it's pretty diverse but yeah i didn't realize that until i kind of like look around and then like huh he's right <laughs> we're gonna check out my cousin's like work area it's a uh, duke university hospital right yes but we're just going to the campus okay yeah we're, a... yeah we're going to duke university campus yeah so we're just gonna check it out I mean, I saw the photos. It looks cool. It looks like a Harry Potter castle. Just to be there, you know, just to kind of like be in the presence of uh, history, all that stuff, history and culture. And I just realized that we are on the East Coast, so it's kind of like European influence, right? More like just a lot of cultural influence. Yeah, there you go. Culture, European culture influence and stuff. So I'm like, this is this is cool. This is legit, guys. Wait, we're like crossing freaking tracks like <laughs> we're crossing the train. This is an Amtrak train by the way. So we were talking about like fuck, how do I say this without sounding racist? <laughs> we were looking for a Filipino restaurant here. It turns out there's only one in the whole like Durham area. And it's a fusion too, like Mediterranean and Filipino. What's it called, Adelin? Mediterranean. So it's like kind of like a tradition, I guess. No, yeah, it is. <laughs> so that's why it's like, oh, Tent City. Like a month or two before the home game, that's where everyone kind of goes. Yeah, and this is the hospital, guys. Up to like the medical center, and then over is like Duke North, where you can see the little like older building. Yeah, where it looks like a castle and stuff. Yeah, and then this is kind of like Duke Central Tower. It's where, and then this is where some of their like more like their <laughs> medical programs are. I think this is their physician assistant program. Nice. Either that or it's a, the Duke nursing program, but the PA program here is kind of cool because this is where PA physician assistants kind of started. Uh huh. So, nice. It's kind of the origins of the PA. Yeah, this is one of like the hardest, like, what is that program to get into, right? Well, Duke as a university is just really hard. Like, their acceptance rates are at like 7 or 8% acceptance of people that apply that's crazy yeah it's harder than some like <laughs> ivy leagues to get into at some at some points that's crazy see the acceptance rate is pretty low that's why the people that come here like they're they're smart they know their shit man. so i'm like wondering guys like what duke is known for like my cousin said basketball but i meant like the program like computer science honestly in their med school Okay, computer their science PhD. and med school, guys. Their PA program and their nursing one too, I believe. Check it out, guys. Oh, 
so like I was just saying that I feel like I'm in a I'm in a social network like movie or something here I thought it was a fraternity house look at that but it turns out it's a I think it's a dormitory But check this out, guys. It's crazy. Well, to me, it's crazy because, like, you know, I'm new here and I'm just kind of like sightseeing all this like history and culture. I haven't been yet, but all right, looks nice. Yeah, so that's a Duke Garden, guys. <laughs> I guess like that's where like you know they garden and stuff. <laughs> No. Like herbology. <laughs> We're gonna check out the defense against the dark uh, program later, guys. So wait for it. I'm wondering what's the Duke University mascot, and uh, my cousin said uh, uh, blue devils, right? Yeah. So it makes sense what what I'm picturing in my head because this kind of reminds me of like that old school like Joker, but devilish. It got hot because of all the walking and stuff. Can you guys see me? It feels kind of like the, I don't know. The social network. Yeah. This is my view right now. Oh guys, so this is the Duke Library and it's like, it's open to the public. Till 6 p.m. Oh, this is pretty cool, guys. Check this out. So we made it. This is the Duke Chapel. Right now, I'm just kind of like appreciating the the architecture, the Gothic architecture. Like it's just, it feels like. That's one of the sororities. And, um... Wait, one of oh shit, so girl, they're hot though. So we're all ready, girls are hot. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I don't know much about this church, this chapel, but my cousin said it's been here for like centuries, probably like a hundred years or something. Check this out. So I saw that signage right there. Divinity school, guys. Dude, like, we're going inside the chapel, guys. Check this out guys, they have a center for sexual and gender diversity. Duke University ally. You buy a sweater there, mm -hmm. you wear it here on Monday, you'll just look like a student. I know, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> that's what I was thinking earlier. <laughs> Try to blend in. This is the first time that I had kale on my Panda Express. <laughs> oh yeah. It's like part of their veggie, like, veggie, uh, side. Freaking kale, guys. Mm. Alright guys, it's fortune cookie time. Your next act of kindness will reveal a new friendship. Hey, that can lead to a soulmate too. So... <laughs> So I'm looking for a CS Duke sweater, guys. Computer science major, Duke sweater. When I wear it tomorrow, I wanna talk to some computer science major girls, you know? So I got a school of engineering sweater, guys. 